Hello everyone, it's Red Man, and welcome back to Splatoon. Last time, we went to this level and got ourselves our first Zapfish, and now this time... Our next area is going to be here. Which is, Lair of the Octoball. Flat your way to the top. So, here we'll have like some new enemies that we'll have to deal with. This one you definitely want to be careful of. They will explode the moment they try to go see ya. So be careful of that. Sputter up the, wa the wall with ink and then swim up the... Yeah, so basically this will teach us on the wall mechanic. Oh, I love this. Watch this. Yeah, if you see those balloons ever, take advantage of the fact that those balloons are designed to help you kill off multiple enemies. Well, splat multiple enemies. I don't think any killing really even happens in this game. Oh! Like I said, be careful because they will explode. So yeah, if they do get the opportunity, they will try to run into you and try to explode. Do not let them do that. Another thing those little puffer, well basically ink balls balloons can do, they can help you paint up the wall faster. Don't think I don't see you up here. There we go. On to the next area. Ah, that's adorable. Let's kill it. Or splat it. So yeah, ink balls will just roll around and basically just leave ink trails where they are. Luckily enough, these aren't the scariest enemies there to deal with. Of course, there is this little trap here. I'm just gonna make an ink trail for me. Here we go, have a bomb! <laughs> I saw one of them just fly off. That's funny. Okay, let's just get up here, grab ourselves under our checkpoint, and we get to see what this annoying thing. That's a squeegee. You, can, you can't hurt these fellas. Yeah, no matter how much you can do, you can't hurt them. But, if you paint anything that's in their sight, or ink anything in their sight, they will try to absorb it and clean it up. Also, remember what I said. Be careful with these things. Do not go into squid form unless you know there is something under you. Like the sunken scroll. Ball, you try to get the jump on me, but unfortunately, I'm too smart on that. There we go. Let's swim up here. Grab that. And. Yeah, we already have the sunken scroll, so I don't have to worry about finding it now. Ooh, what of them actually has armor. Now, here's the thing not only do, will they clean up, up your ink, they'll also clean up the enemy ink. Luckily, we are in a safe area that these ink balls cannot, well, oct octo balls cannot get us to. I'll grab that armor, thank you very much. I wonder. Stick to the wall. Come on. I am. Probably doing this the wrong way. Let me just try something else. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. There we go. That's what we like to see. Oh, yep, I'll collect that. And we'll go up here. We'll get this. This here. And jump over here. To see that these guys will basically knock us down. So, how about we just not get hit by them? Launch Pad Ahoy! Yep. Let's get into this launch pad here. Launching ourselves. Oh, I see something incredibly fun. 
Okay, so be careful on like surfaces like this because you can accidentally fall. So yeah, there is that. Making sure there's no checkpoint here. So there's an incredibly fun thing up right there that we can use. If we get into here. We can basically just oh uh let's just take care of you two. And yeah, basically that's the final area we just need to get to. Yeah, we can't aim any more lower. So basically we just have to ink our way up and not have the thing basically stop us from getting more up. Just keep in mind that you do have some gravity working against you, so you can't just stay on the wall forever. But we can break, break this open and get ourselves a zap fish. Layer of the Octoballs. Flight your way to... My head is covering it. Oh. We Octarians dwell in the world deep underground. The individual caves in which we live are connected by a network of transport devices known as kettles. Wow, you learn something new every day. So yeah, basically the the, the Octarians basically use the kettles for transport. So that's nice to know. Yeah, I already know that. Also, let's see if we can upgrade our gear a little bit. Oh, uh, we can't upgrade that, but we can upgrade our splat bombs, which I will do right now. So yeah, our splat bombs should have more of a blast radius. And next time on Splatoon, we'll basically, if I don't fall off the thing first, Luckily, I can just ink up here. We'll be going to the final one and getting, seeing what that level's all about.